So check it out. You can make $59 by risking $444 right now, and you will never lose the entire amount if you manage this position properly. And you're gonna make a 10% return in a very short amount of time. The way I make an extra $1,000 a week by using a small portfolio like $10,000 is by utilizing call credit spreads. I want you to copy this call credit spread strategy to make $1,000 per week by yourself. I'm going to be showing you different examples. We're going to be using Nvidia because Nvidia is in a really interesting position right now. This strategy is ideal for bullish and peaking markets. So basically right now, since a lot of tech stocks are very high or have at least gone up a lot and are showing signs of pullbacks, especially Nvidia as it's pulled back a lot, Nvidia could be a very interesting setup for a call credit spread carefully. Now, the reason why I'm picking Nvidia, although I'm an Nvidia bull and you might think to yourself a call credit spread is a bearish strategy i'm going to show you an out of the money call credit spread on nvidia tesla and we're going to look at another pick in my portfolio right now now check this out i am bullish on nvidia i'm selling puts however i want to show you a very short-term play with a very low delta now for me guys i use a delta of 12 to 15 and i basically win every single time now i'm not going to bs you i don't win 100 percent of the time nobody does but if you manage the position properly properly, even though when you do lose or you have a position that goes into the money, I'm going to show you how to exactly manage it for the least amount of loss. Now check this out. Nvidia right now is at $106 per share. I'm going to the options and what I'm going to specifically show you is a call credit spread. Now this call credit spread is fantastic for scaling a smaller portfolio. I like to stick to my bread and butter strategies of selling put options and covered calls. But if you have a smaller portfolio or you simply want to grow part of your portfolio to you know generate more alpha like for example i have a large portfolio but i still use small parts of my portfolio to generate more money aka generating alpha alpha is how much you beat the market so for example if SPY has a 10% return in a year, but on your strategy, you have a 25% return, you have generated a 15% alpha because that's a 25 minus 10. So that's 15% alpha that you've generated. I'm looking at my notes here because I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step plays, guys, on how to actually open up a call credit spread and manage it. Because you need to understand from the very beginning of when you open a call credit spread, you need to have excellent stock selection. Okay, this is the most important thing that you need to understand, stock selection. I'm going to be using Nvidia, but this is an example. If you find a different stock that's at its high, meaning it's either at the top of its Bollinger Band, it's at a 52 week high, or if the RSI is very high, those are all indicators that a stock is very expensive. So when a stock is expensive, you wanna use a call credit spread. But the myth that I'm breaking in this video, which will help you make $1,000 per week, even if you have an account that's $10,000 or in the low, low five figures, is that a call credit spread can make money even if the stock goes up a little bit. If the stock goes sideways, that's fine. And especially if the stock goes down, a call credit spread is going to be bringing you some income. In fact, it can make 10% per month or thereabouts as I'm about to get into this. But first I'm giving you the mindset, okay? I want you guys to focus on reliable stocks. So before I do this on Nvidia, I'm going to show you some reliable stocks. I would not do this on SPY or QQQ because they're typically bullish. I would use the call credit spread strategy on a stock that you think is at the top of its range. I'm currently looking at some stocks that I hold and I would not do this on Palantir. I'm a Palantir bull. I would not really do this on Amazon or many of the stocks that I typically cover on this channel because the call credit spread strategy, you ideally want to pick a stock that's towards the high end of its range. I'm going to take a look at Meta. Although we have a green day in the market, if we take a look at year to date on Meta, this is going to be a very good example, guys. Now check this out. Meta, it has had a triple top pattern, okay? So I'm going to show you an example right now on Meta first, because actually I'm more bullish that the call credit spread strategy will work on Meta. Whereas with Nvidia, I'm going to have to be a lot more careful. Now guys, listen, when you look at the implied volatility of an option, if it's high, that's good because it gets you more money, all right? And I'm gonna show you why Meta is gonna be a very good play. Nvidia is also, but again, I'm gonna have to be a lot more safe. So look, 
Meta, it peaked right here at 527. And then in July, Meta again peaked at 539. All right. Now looking at Meta, it peaked at 537 just, you know, a few weeks ago in August. Now we're in September 2024. And for the next, you know, two weeks, four weeks, six, eight weeks, I really don't think that Meta is going to reach an all time high. Now that is based on technical analysis. I've done the research before this and I can show you specifically what I'm talking about by just pulling up the chart on Yahoo Finance, all right? You don't actually have to be a genius to read the chart and realize here that this purple line that I drew right here, this is the top. We had a very strong double top. In fact, I would argue that we had a triple top pattern on Meta. There is very huge resistance at this level. And for that reason, if I were to open up a call credit spread, it'd be very easy for me to bet that Meta won't go above 520. However, I'm gonna do a very safe call credit spread on both Meta and on NVIDIA right now because I want to be safe and conservative. I'm all about consistent passive income. I do not want to, you know, put myself in harm's way and potentially lose a call credit spread, which is why I go so low on the Delta. So check this out. If I expand the 530 call right here, I'm going above and beyond, guys. If you think 520 is safe, go 525 or 530. Go higher on a call credit spread because you wanna be more safe. With a call credit spread, we are saying that we don't think the stock will go this high, okay? In this short of a time period. This is a four day trade. Now, look, this is actually very lucrative to do. I'm gonna show you right now. If I were to sell the 530, okay? And then I go ahead and buy the 535, you can see right here that I'm basically making $45, guys, on 450. That's about a 10% return in four days. Tell me how you can't get rich and make passive, consistent income selling call credit spreads when the return is 10%. So if you understand what you're doing, you're gonna collect really good income. But look, this is a four day trade, and I would say this is as safe as it gets, all right? If you go out longer, you do have, or you do run the risk of more things happening until expiration, right? So if I go to an expiration here, and let's say I go to October, I'm gonna show you a very interesting way to think about this right here to make more money and squeeze out more profits on a smaller portfolio. If I were to go to the 530, okay, I sell the 530, and then I go ahead and buy the 535, the return right here is going to be $170. Now look, check it out. It's $170 because more stuff can happen from now as I'm making this video until October 18th. Because more stuff can happen, you're gonna be getting compensated a greater amount of money since there's more time and more risk. You're always getting paid in proportion to the risk that you take. Guys, you make more money when you have higher risk. So you need to find balance. You need to accurately look at an option and find the correct balance that suits your needs. That's what I do in my Discord community and that's what I'm trying to teach you here on YouTube on how to properly open a position, manage the position, and close the position, okay? So look, for here, I would not do this. I would not do this on October 18 because October 18, there's a lot more time, so I would go higher, all right? The delta there was too high. If I go to 560, the delta is still kind of high. So if you wanna have a lot of consistency, you're gonna wanna go out a little bit farther in terms of the strike price, all right? So let me go out to 570 here, and now check it out. The delta is 0.14. That is gonna be a lot better of a delta. However, I will also point out some really interesting facts here. The implied volatility is 30%. So 30% implied volatility here is pretty medium, all right? NVIDIA is gonna be higher when I go over the NVIDIA example. The volume here is also very low, but luckily, check out the bid and ask spread. The bid and ask spread is very tight. That's a good thing. That means that essentially, we are going to get a good fill here, even though the volume is low. All right, so here, I'm gonna go for the 570 call credit spread. Feel free to copy. I'm not a financial advisor, but I made literally $3.5 million in profits, probably around 3.6 million at this point, because every single month, my portfolio keeps going up. And I've been doing this for, for a decade. So I'm just trying to teach you guys how this works. If you look at the maximum profit, you are gonna make about $59, and you're risking 445, all right? There is a way to manage this position, because you never truly wanna lose $445. If you end up losing the entire amount, the entire collateral, 
you're going to have a hard time actually breaking even on this strategy. So as soon as basically if Meta were to go to 570 per share or even close, you want to spot that and basically close this position before expiration and before it ideally hits 570. Now where that perfectly happens is a case by case basis is beyond this video. But to summarize it, you do want to close the option closer to 570 because at that point, the option will be at risk. So look guys, before I go over the Nvidia trade, what I want to say is you want to focus on reliable repeatable strategy. A reliable repeatable strategy is when you can keep running a call credit spread or any strategy on the same stock uh, week by week, month by month. That's what I focus on. Also, what's good about this strategy is it truly does create passive income. Although I just showed you a trade that was four days to expiration and one month to expiration, you can still do this every two weeks and up to six or even eight weeks if you go farther out of the money, as I'm about to show you on NVIDIA. That way you do get passive income. I would uh, label this as fairly safe income as well because it's actually a hedge in your portfolio. It's saying that you don't think the stock is going to go up to that strike price. So you would not want to do this on a a very bullish stock that you like. I like Nvidia, but look, I want to show you a short term trade. So if I go to sell call option, right, I'm going to go to an expiration, let's say I want to go short term, I'm going to go for September 20 right here This is a short term trade. But if you're watching this in the future, just copy the same thought process and the same logic and just do this over and over again for a stock where you see that it has resistance. Now for Nvidia, I'll be honest, since it has pulled back a lot, I'm expecting a bit of a bullish move in the short term. However, I'm going to show you an interesting way where you can still capitalize, you can still go very out of the money. So let's go for 116. Nope, that's too close because that delta was too high. If I go to 120, that's an 11 delta. This is actually a really good way to create income and hedge your position. Because check this out, this is gonna be life changing, all right? If you have a lot of Nvidia, you hope that it goes up, right? A call credit spread will basically create income and you'll end up profitable at expiration as long as it doesn't go to your strike price. So check it out, if I sell a 120 call option, all right, I'm collecting income. If Nvidia goes to 110, I'm gonna be still fine. I'm still collecting income. If it goes to 115 and you have an Nvidia position, you make a lot of money and you still get the premium that you've collected for the 120 strike price. If it goes to 120, you need to close out this call credit spread, of course, but you have probably made so much money on the long stock that you have. So this is a fantastic way to create income and basically hedge against the position that you have. So check it out. If I go 120 and then I go 125, the return here is going to be fairly small at $32 and I'm going to be risking, I'm putting in quotation, I'll explain to you in a second, risking about $460, $470, right? This is about a 6% return, roughly maybe 6.5% return as I'm doing the math in my head, 6.5% return in about 11 days. So let's just call it 10 days, 6% return. That's 0.6% per day, guys. You're creating 0.6% of income. So that's a lot of money, right? That is actually a lot of money because on a $10,000 portfolio, this is going to add up. This will really add up. Now, I'm probably going to bet this does not happen because 120 is pretty far away. It's 11 Delta. So you're just going to get income. But again, if Nvidia goes higher, you're going to be making money on the long shares that you have. Most likely if you're investing in the shares, if you have a covered call, that's going to be beneficial. Just so many strategies here. All the strategies that you run, a call credit spread will help you create more income in your portfolio. So I would say that I personally do this all the time. I'm trying to maximize my income in my portfolio and you can make as much as 10% or even more than 10% safely on a five figure portfolio or a six figure portfolio. So this is a fantastic way to scale your income. And I'm looking at my notes here. I would say that I'm going to stick to between 12 to 15 Delta. So you should stick between 12 to 15 Delta if you really want to get the, the income and the safety at the same time. Now, of course, the majority of my strategy and what I focus on in Discord is just really helping folks with five figures, multiple five figures and six figures scale to the next level and ideally to a full time income. I'm focusing on just 4% per month because that's a lot more safe and conservative. I am a conservative safe investor. So with the call credit spread strategy, it's fantastic. But guys, position sizing, please. Position sizing, I beg you, do not put all of your money in smaller account strategy. Even if you have a small portfolio, you should still focus on the other strategies that I cover on this channel, like the poor man's covered call. Guys, I have a four hour free course. You have to check it out because you need balance. You need position sizing. You can't just put all your money in one basket because no one strategy is always going to work. So this at most, 
I would put in about 10% of my portfolio. And I would also copy what I just showed you, or I would just say that's what I'm doing myself on Meta, on Nvidia. And I can show you uh, another good stock where you might want to do the strategy on. Uh, me personally, I'll be honest with you, I'm looking at Hershey's, okay? H-S-Y. Why? because I was doing some research and I think the chocolate industry, they're gonna have higher costs. Cocoa and the inputs are becoming more expensive as well as more competition. So if you look at Mr. Beast, he has his Feastables. Now I'm not gonna make a comment if Feastables is actually a better chocolate bar or not, but the marketing is very strong. So I think that is gonna give Hershey's a run for their money. And I think Hershey's gonna have a little bit of a harder time with their profit margins because there are more competitors in the chocolate space. For that reason, I would say that this could be a really good call credit spread opportunity for you to get into. But generally speaking, I would use call credit spreads on expensive tech companies. I'm just scrolling here. I'm looking at the stocks that are on my watch list that could be good opportunities. Now, you could also do this on something. Nah, I would say that Coinbase has already pulled back enough, so I wouldn't do this on Coinbase. But basically, guys, you can make up to 10% per month doing the call credit spread strategy. If you guys wanna watch more examples of me using credit spreads for income, check out this video on the screen right now.